Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Tomorrow's my first race, so I'm pretty excited. I'm just getting the bike ready at the moment, um, putting the race wheels on, changing the brake uh, pads because I need to because it's need the carbon wheels. So yeah, I have to swap them over. But it's looking pretty nice. Um, yeah, the bike looks even better with the with the um, race wheels on. So really happy. It looks got it all super clean. So yeah, I'm excited to get racing tomorrow. Um, the circuit looks quite difficult. It's really flat, but with the weather and the position of the, the wind as well, like uh, it's gonna be really, really heavy crosswinds tomorrow for basically the first, well, like 100K until we go onto the circuit. It's about 130 Ks in total. So yeah, um, a tough race to start. So it's gonna be interesting, but I thought you'd bring, I'd bring you along. Um, so yeah, I'll probably see you in the morning before I leave. Uh, meeting team about 45 minutes, an hour away, and then we're another, what, hour, hour and 15 in the car. So yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Just waiting for the team. I got here a bit early just to make sure. I've got my bike and everything ready, so I'm just jumping in the van when uh, when they get here. So uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be here in the next 10 minutes. And it's pretty windy as expected. So yeah, it's gonna be a tough race. So we're all here, just getting the bikes out, getting the bags out, um, and I'm guessing we get some seats out as well. It's pretty nice view. It starts right on like the, um, I don't know, like a, it starts right next to the sea. So it's pretty nice. Um, it's quite apparently, I was just speaking to Matisse's mum, Laurence, who uh, was in Planquet last year, and apparently the wind is like 60 kilometers per hour or something. So yeah, quite windy. It doesn't look like it's going to rain though. Well, I don't know, we'll see. Been a while since I've pinned numbers on. Might take a few goes to get it perfect, but uh, yeah, I think it's looking all right. Get the second one on, it's quite a cool logo for the race as well. I think this lighthouse is um, sort of just over there. I think that's the one, but I'm not 100%. Looking pretty good. I've got all my kit on now. Um, I think we're going to, podium, going to the podium soon. Unfortunately, my front wheel got a puncture, which is really frustrating because last night I had a lot of problems with my rear wheel and I had to go to the bike shop to replace like the tape on the inside. Uh, so yeah, I'm using my training wheel on the front wheel, which this first race, so that's not the end of the world. And also it's pretty windy, so maybe it's quite a good thing to have a shallower depth on the front wheel and a deep one on the back. But uh, yeah, still not really ideal. So I'm going to head off now and I'll see you after the race. Just got back, pretty hard race. Um, <coughs> I thought it was all over because about 30, 40 k's in, there was a little, there was a crash in like this uh, sort of a narrow road or a pinch section. And um, yeah, got like the whole team basically got stuck behind that. And then it was like, well, because uh, Cote de Moor, a DM1 team, were drilling on the front. And it was massive crosswinds, and we sort of thought like there's no chance. And then I was like, well, I'm here to do and sort of get a race in the legs. So I was just working on the front in uh, Bretagne. I can't, uh, I don't know right now, I'm pretty tired. Uh, one of the riders, we, we were working. Uh, pulling real hard. Um, I think it was sort of splitting up our little group. It was like pretty much half the peloton almost that got caught behind. But so we were working with some other guys, uh, splitting up the peloton, our peloton, and then we come to the final circuit of two laps to go. We sort of see the cars from the main peloton. Uh, I think there was a group in front. I don't know how many riders, but on the literally on the last lap, we caught up. Uh, we caught up the main peloton. With about four k's to go there's this guy from a, a team called Laval and he just absolutely bombed it so I got on his wheel got off the front uh, yeah, it was like four guys but then we got caught and it came down to a sprint but at the end of the day like I'm pretty happy that we managed to get back onto the so I didn't really expect that so um, yeah so I'd say it's a good race first race of the year and it's early Feb so uh, I'll see you again later. Hi guys, so it's the day after. I've just done a three, two and a half hour session. I did two hours of zone, like three, high zone three. Legs are feeling pretty good today, so I'm pretty happy. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way things went yesterday. It wasn't technically a, a, like a result, but um, like a great result, but like first race of the year and my legs were looking good. The last, well, every race I've done, the first race I've done in the, in the year, I've always got my head kicked in, and that was like the first year I've done my first race and not got my head kicked in, so. Things looking good. Um, I'm starting to think the last few or three years of my life of just cycling, starting to like pay off now, and I'm uh, hopefully this will be a good season for me. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what I can do this year. Uh, this is my position. I don't know it yet, but I'll put it in. This is where I came yesterday. Um, 
And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'm off to my next race is Holt Var in near Marseille for three days. So that'd be great. I'll take you along then and I'll see you in the next vlog.